As Minnesota farmers prepare for the 2023 planting season, a proposed ban on biotech corn imports by Mexico is hovering over the preparations. Mexico's president has sought to ban imports of biotech corn beginning in January 2024. Mexico issued a revised decree in February that banned biotech corn for food use. It also left the door open for a future ban on biotech corn for feed. Minnesota corn leaders say the move was not based on science. Uh, regulatory bodies across the world, around the world, have declared that this corn is equivalent, uh, it's safe, um, we like growing it because we use less chemicals, it's more sustainable for us. Most farmers plant biotech corn varieties, which industry leaders say are well studied and safe. They contend that losing that Mexico market would be detrimental to Minnesota farmers and Mexican consumers. Exports out of our state of corn is like in the high 30, low 40 percent corn. So we do have a big export and Mexico is one of the top countries that we export our grain into. So take all that grain out of the market, out of the export market and bring it that back, that, that back in and put that back on top of our carry out. That's easily tell it's going to bring our prices down. You know, if you took out a customer the size of Mexico, obviously that would have an impact on our corn prices. Um, but it would also have an impact on the citizens of Mexico who would be forced to pay higher prices for the foodstuffs that they depend on. A formal process is underway to review Mexico's ban because ag leaders say it's a violation of the U.S.-Mexico-Canada trade agreement. If Mexico um, does this and carries through on this. Essentially, it says that their signature is not good on the document that they signed for that free trade agreement. And then what other products, uh, from microchips to automobiles, are, are we going to have issues with on that agreement? This is foundational for how countries get along and, and work together, and this is just one small little piece of how that whole picture is going to play out. This is Lynn Kettleson reporting.